The United States F-35 and French Rafale are two of the most advanced and lethal combat aircraft in the world. Both jets need to fulfill multiple roles in multiple conditions. This includes air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. These fighter jets have land-based and carrier-based versions as well. Despite their similar goals, these jets are extremely different, not only in their design, but their construction and the very philosophy behind them. Today, we'll compare these two phenomenal fighter jets in this hypothetical matchup and determine which fighter is better in a real battlefield. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. Both aircraft have multiple variants for Air Force and Navy, but we'll compare the F-35A with the Rafale C. F-35 was first introduced in 2015. Around 570 jets of all variants have been built so far, with a per-unit cost of $78 million for the F-35A. Operated by a crew of one, the aircraft can take off with a maximum weight of 70,000 pounds. The jet is powered by a Pratt & Whitney turbofan engine capable of producing 43,000 pounds of thrust. The engine can push the aircraft to a top speed of 1,227 miles per hour. With a maximum range of 1,700 miles, the jet can combat within a radius of 870 miles. The climb rate of F-35 is classified. The aircraft can reach a maximum altitude of 50,000 feet and still be operational. On the other hand, Rafale was first rolled out in 2001. Around 201 jets have been built so far, with a per-unit cost of $77 million. Operated by a crew of one, the aircraft can take off with a maximum weight of 54,000 pounds. The aircraft is powered by a pair of turbofan engines generating 34,000 pounds of thrust combined. With the help of these engines, the aircraft can travel with a top speed of 1,381 miles per hour. With ferry range of 2,300 miles, the jet can combat within a radius of 1,150 miles. With a climb rate of 1,000 feet per second, the service ceiling of Rafale is 50,000 feet. Number 2. With smaller wings and inferior thrust-to-weight ratio, the early F-35 pilots found it nearly impossible to even engage with F-16. Lockheed Martin worked with pilots' training and changed the configuration of the jet this resulted in a tighter turning radius and improved nose pointing ability at low speed. F-35 has the ability to slow down during a turn and has excellent post-stall recovery. In contrast, Rafale has led in this category. The aircraft has 9 G's maneuverability with a high angle of attack. Canard wings are used to improve maneuverability further. The aircraft is aerodynamically clean with two wingtip missiles. Close-coupled Delta Canard wings offer a significantly higher lift. The fighter jet has superior post-stall maneuverability as well. Number 3. The F-35 has been designed to have a lower radar cross-section with the help of the aircraft shape and the use of stealthy radar absorbent materials. Stealth gives F-35 the ability to dodge or greatly complicate an enemy's ability to find and destroy an aircraft using a combination of design tactics, and technology. The stealth capabilities of the F-35 are unprecedented in military aviation. For perspective, F-35's radar cross-section is 0.005 square meters, which is about the size of a golf ball. On the contrary, the Rafale is not a full-aspect stealth aircraft. However, the jet was designed for a reduced radar cross-section ranging from 0.5 to 2 square meters. This was achieved with a smaller tail fin, compact fuselage, smaller engine air inlets, and extensive use of composite materials. 70% of the jet's surface area is made with composite materials. However, many of the features designed to reduce the visibility to threats remain classified. Number 4. F-35 has the most advanced radar and communication suite built to date. It's the first combat aircraft to possess a satellite-linked communications capability. 
F-35's advanced sensor fusion enables pilots to draw on information from all of their onboard sensors to create a single integrated picture of the battlefield. All of the information gathered is then automatically shared with other pilots and the base. F-35 is equipped with an AN-APG-81 radar capable of tracking at over 143 miles and can lock its target as far as 93 miles. The aircraft is equipped with a distributed aperture and electro-optical targeting system. F-35's helmet-mounted display system provides the pilot with unprecedented situational awareness. The pilot can even see through the aircraft. The information is projected on the helmet's visor, which includes airspeed, heading, altitude, targeting information, and warnings. On the other side, Rafal is equipped with passive electronically scanned multi-mode radar. This is capable to achieve an increased level of situational awareness through earlier target detection. The radar projects real-time 3D maps for terrain following and high-resolution ground maps for navigation and targeting. The radar can detect and engage a target at a range of 90 miles. For the air supremacy role, the aircraft is equipped with several passive sensor systems. The front sector electro-optical system is completely integrated within the aircraft and can operate both in visible and infrared wavelengths. This sensor enables the deployment of infrared missiles beyond visual range distances. Number 5. Both aircraft are equally equipped with beyond and within visual range weaponry. F-35 is armed with an internally mounted 25mm equalizer gun with 180 rounds in addition to an external pod with extra rounds. The aircraft has two internal weapon bays and six external hardpoints for carrying eight tons of weapon payload. The two outer hardpoints can carry Sidewinder and short-range air-to-air missiles. The other pylons can carry AIM-120 missiles, joint air-to-surface standoff missile, and guided bombs. There are a total of four weapon stations between the two internal bays. Two of these can carry air-to-surface missiles or bombs. The other two stations are for smaller weapons. In the near future, the jet will be armed with solid-state lasers and hypersonic missiles. On the other hand, the Rafal can carry weapon payloads of more than 9.5 tons on its 14 hardpoints. The range of weapons include air-to-air, air-to-ground, air-to-sea, guided, and unguided bombs. For a strategic mission, the jet can deliver Storm Shadow standoff nuclear missiles. The aircraft can also carry Meteor Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missiles, the jet can fire precision bombs guided by both GPS and inertial navigation. The aircraft has a twin gun pod and 30mm cannon capable of firing 2,500 rounds a minute. The jet is equipped with laser designation pods for laser guidance of air-to-ground missiles. F-35 is a stealth plane, which is its main advantage. Both planes almost use the same range of weaponry, F-35 has slightly better radar with excellent sensors and avionics suite. But in most of the scenarios, F-35 will detect Rafal first due to its lower RCS, better radar, and capable sensors. But in a close one-on-one -on -one fight, F-35 doesn't stand a chance against Rafal due to Rafal's better maneuverability and thrust-to-weight ratio. However, with the advent of helmet-mounted display and high off boresight missiles, the maneuverability advantage has greatly diminished but this technology is yet to be proven in a real battlefield scenario. So what do you think? Which fighter jet is the winner? The United States F-35 or the French Rafale? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.